Okay, in this video I'm going to explain text on a circle, not only how to do it but what all the controls once you have the text on the circle will do for you. So this is your text icon up here and if you just click this you're going to get normal text. There's a little drop down arrow here. You can also click that drop down and click right here to go directly into circle text mode. So that's what we're going to do for this example. Click somewhere in the middle of the screen and uh, it will automatically take the default my text and put it on a circle. One of the things that's brand new in FTCU is the ability to put text on the top and the bottom of the circle, which is really, really cool. In the uh, old program, you had to do that in a couple of different steps, and it didn't always work. But over here in the Properties box, you can see here we've got the upper line and the lower line, which is blank right now. So let's go ahead and put another My Text in the bottom there, just because and we're going to use this font here broadcast and we're going to click apply and that's going to put the second text on the bottom now you see what happens here is the text is overlapping because it's too big for the uh, actual size of the circle we have here so it's going to overlap a little bit in the center so we can control the size and the width of everything over here with our numeric controls but I'm going to show you how we do that visually and there are three controls that we're going to be concerned with in this video there's a black dot at the top here this is the equivalent of our height control which is the same over here we could either set it numerically or we could click and drag this to change the height of the text this control here does two things it allows us to change the inner diameter of the circle so when combined with the height control this will control our overall size of the circle and lastly we have this black dot down here which is our text width control which is the same as this control right here. So let's go ahead and concentrate on this blue dot at the bottom. Now you can see as I move the cursor close to it, it turns into a rotate control because this also allows us to rotate the circle. So to manipulate this, all you need to do is click and drag. So I'm clicking and dragging the size of my circle. So this allows me to visually size my circle. So it's keeping the height of the text the same, but it's making the circle inner diameter and therefore the outer diameter bigger. So let's go ahead and leave it here. And you can see also I could rotate it anywhere I want when I want to do that. Okay, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it right there on the center line. And that lets me set my inner diameter. And again, in conjunction with the height, that's going to set my outer diameter. In fact, let's just make it a little bit smaller. I think I've made it a little bit too big, so let's bring it down. Now, when you're trying to fit circles around things, other elements in your design, this is really useful because usually what you want to do is set this inner diameter to match something else in the design. Once you get that set, you really don't want to play with it very much. You want to leave it alone. So that's where the height control comes in really handy because now I can click and drag this and you see I'm changing the size of the characters which also changes the outer side of the circle, the outer dimension, but not the inner side. So you see that that inner dimension is staying the same. So I can go ahead and leave that there. So now if I've got this where I want it, if I want my characters to be closer together or spread apart, then that's where I would use my width control. So my width control lets me move them back like that and get them in that kind of orientation. If I want to slide them along this way, I can make them a little closer together. So those are the three basic controls that you have in circle text and you've also got your individual kerning controls, your individual character controls just like you do in uh, your normal text mode. So for example if I want to tighten up the space here between the T and the Y I can do that and it'll tighten up just that space there. If I want to do the same thing down here I can drag those two closer together and I've still got all the rest of my text controls. So those are your text controls in text on a circle.